How's it going everybody? Mason and Shelly here with Just a Drift. Hi. We are in Istanbul, Turkey, and we have been visiting so many mosques and it's a beautiful experience, isn't it? Really it really is. We're learning a ton and it's been very exciting. And so we want to give you the information that you need to know in order to visit some mosques, as well as our two favorite mosques that we visited here in Istanbul. First off, a few tips for a tire. So ladies, don't forget your scarf. It is required to have a head covering or scarf to enter a mosque. Two, dress uh, pretty conservatively. No uh, midriff or spaghetti straps, no shorts. Uh, a long dress is appropriate. And uh, third, you will be taking your shoes off. So if you don't wanna go barefoot, don't forget your socks. I think an important thing to remember too, or to know rather, is that if you are going to visit a mosque and you don't have a head wrap, you don't have appropriate dress, they do have items that are available for you to rent or borrow. So it, it varies depending on which one you visit. So sometimes it's just good to be prepared, but if you do visit one uh, last minute, there are other options. tip we want to give you or the second thing you need to know is what is customary when entering the mosque. So there'll be an area where the stone entryway leads to a carpet and at that point you'll want to take off your shoes. You don't want to step onto the carpet with your shoes and the reason is is because while Muslims are praying they touch their palms and their heads to the ground and they want to reserve the space as a clean space. And before we enter first we need to take off our shoes so please follow me. So you'd be asked to take off your shoes. You want to take off your shoes while you're still standing on the brick or pavement and then step onto the carpet. Once you take your shoes off, you'll have an opportunity to put them in a cubby or to put them in a plastic bag and carry them with you. And if you do choose to put them in a plastic bag and carry them with you, while you're touring the mosque, make sure you don't set them on the ground. We've seen a few visitors kind of unconsciously set them on the ground and then be asked to to pick them up. Once you've taken your shoes off you're going to enter the mosque through a threshold. It's very important that you don't step on the threshold itself and also walk over it and lead with your right foot, both entering and exiting the mosque. would be times when to visit. So Muslims pray five times a day. So the times of prayer are not really the best times to visit and often some mosques do not allow visitors. So be sure to check the times before you visit so you, that you're there at an appropriate time. That's right. And then also Friday is a very important day for Muslims. So there's probably going to be more people showing up to pray on that day. So we would recommend that you not show up on a Friday. Right. Leave that day for, for worship.
text, photography, and video. The mosques that we've visited fortunately have allowed photography and video. But before you enter any new space, always check before you get your camera or your phone out. Uh, and then also be respectful of the people that are there praying. Muslims come in to pray throughout the day, um, so it's not just at prayer time. And never, never point your camera at somebody that's in a sacred act of praying, just to be respectful. visiting the general area as soon as you walk in, you'll typically see a barrier. We've seen anything from a very simple kind of rope and post barrier to very beautiful elaborate wood barriers. But the barrier is there to prevent non-Muslims that are visiting the area to walk into the area where Muslims typically pray. So make sure you observe and understand where this barrier is and you don't cross it if you're not there for prayer, if you're just there to visit. When inside a mosque, be sure to know the general visiting area, both men and women and children are all in the same area, but when it comes down to prayer, men pray in a separate area and women pray in another area. So be observant of where those areas are and where those barriers are so you're not uh, wandering into those areas as a visitor. So far, our two favorite mosques that we visited have been the Hagia Sophia, which is behind me, and the Soleimani Mosque. For me, the architecture is fascinating. So for the Hagia Sophia, what's really cool is that while it was created in the 6th century, it started as a, a Christian church and then eventually converted over to a mosque. So you have both elements from different religions here in one space together. An unexpected second favorite for me was the Suleimani Mosque. The mosque is beautiful. Unlike the Blue Mosque and the Hagia Sophia, it's not currently under construction, so you get this beautiful, uninterrupted view of how vast and large the inside of this building is. It has so much history behind it, and it cannot be missed. We hope that these tips will help you. Here in Istanbul, we have really enjoyed visiting the beautiful mosque they have here and learning about uh, the culture and all of the history behind their being built. Absolutely. So we just hope that you'll be able to take a little piece of the things that we've learned and apply it to your visit. If you go out and this helps you, let us know. Leave a comment below.